Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to talk to you with a guest viewer. Her name is Teresa, and she's from Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to her. Welcome her. Hi, Teresa. How you doing, babe? I am blessed and highly favored, Pat, and thank you so much no for inviting me. No problem. I'm so glad you are so willing to do it. Um, I have a few other viewers that I'm trying to connect with as well, and that's going to happen. I declare a decree in the name of Jesus. We're going to get to talk. But anyway, <laughs> Teresa, um, I wanted to ask you to please share your testimony with us. Your testimony, of, well, I'm just going to let you share according to how God leads you. Go right on ahead, sweetheart. <laughs> Okay, well, my past is a messy one, and I'm not real proud of it, but I thank God, by His grace, He can turn a mess into a victory, and, and that's what the case is with me. Yes. My, my story is that um, I was one step from losing it all, mm. like Peter... He lifts me up from the troubled waters yes. that, he, that he was in. So to start my story, um, I was in witchcraft for 10 years or a little bit longer than that. Mm -hmm. Back in 08, I reported a workman's comp case and I was off work and I had started my... Um, Orphan's comp claim and getting my income coming in. And this was, um, I believe my memory served me right because it's been a while ago. And I believe that was in August of 08. And by December of 08, they um, discontinued my income um, due to, I had two previous back surgeries unrelated, mm. but they, it was a um, ongoing back problem that I had. Mm -hmm. So they just needed my workman's comp. Well, then it was, so when they discontinued that, I followed uh, up and applied for um, met my medical um, that my employer had. And I was on uh, medical uh, for, um, for a while and during the, the medical um, I signed up for Social Security but uh, in between my medical and my um, workman's comp uh, my income stopped while waiting for my medical kicked in and I got behind, behind on my house payment. Oh yeah and yeah right in that crunch where everybody was feeling it man. <laughs> yep I sure did and um, the mortgage company was working, trying to work with me to um, redo my mortgage. Um, I can't think of what the term of it is right now, but uh, it's... Loan I, modification? I being foreclosed. Pardon me? Was it loan modification? I it was a loan modification. Right, right. But right. Yeah, I went through that too. I <laughs> sure what I could, was eligible for it, so mm -hmm. I... Cut my hair of losing my home. So oh, yeah. then uh, as I was working on getting my um, medical, I was on it for a while and then uh, I lost my medical. Oh, my goodness. From worse to worse. I'm telling you. And working with the Social Security Board, they kept denying my case. Oh, yeah. Typical. So, I was on my uh, third round of trying, I was on my way to court mm. to try to do my case. And um, it wasn't a pretty picture, and I cut my hair of having a nervous breakdown. Oh, yeah, I think everybody went through that. That uh, uh, Oh, my goodness. I think that was one of the darkest periods for so many people. Uh, yeah, I was in, in the full starting the foreclosure about a year after that myself. So I understand what you mean. That was like hell on wheels. Oh, I know. Yeah. I hope I never go through that again. That was horrible. Mm. Yeah. 
I was off for so long with my back because it took me a while to uh, get in to have my surgery done. Mm. And um, the incident, uh, I needed a fusion in my back. Yep. And the doctor or the surgeon told me I probably wouldn't be working, come back to work. And so I lost my job. Mm. Uh, okay, the doctor told you uh, it kind of went in and out. So let me repeat. You were saying the doctor told you that you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't go back to work or you wouldn't be able to go back to work? Yeah, he didn't think I would be going back to work. Okay, but you weren't getting any income and then you lost your job? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Yep. Man. So to wind it up, I lost... I lost my uh, stump income. I was trying to get on Social Security. I almost lost my home. Okay, let me repeat after you on that one. Let me repeat after you because it went in and out. So what Teresa's saying is she lost her workman's comp income. And she almost lost her house. What was the other thing you said? And I was fighting the court to get my stump. Fighting the court and to get her social security and lost her job. Mm. Rock bottom. Yeah. And then I almost lost my mind. Yes, <laughs> I hear you, girl. Man. So, as everything was piling up on me, and um, like I said, I was just in desperate need. And um, what the 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 witchcraft that I was doing wasn't doing anything for me. Nothing was working out. They were just bottoming out for me. So you said and that you were into witchcraft? Yes, yes, ma'am, about 10 years. Mm. Wow. And so, as you know, the devil will try to work to wreck your life. Yes. Even though that uh, he may be trying to put things out there saying, you know, you can do this or you can do that. Or he just tries to make something look pretty when it's actually ugly. Exactly. Because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But he lures you in, baby. Man. Oh, he sure did. Hook and sinker. Yes. So, um... One day, uh, I was, like I said, I was one step from losing everything. One day, I just had enough, and I went prostrate on the floor, and I cried, and I pleaded. I cried so hard, Pat, that my rug was, uh, literally, well, not literally, but my rug parted at just three days dry up, if you know what I mean. I yes, yes. Up. And so I confessed, and I told God I was so sorry for the false idol worship, everything that I have done. I just literally just poured my soul out to, to God, and I told him, I said, Lord, I said, if you can save my house, give me back my aunt. and give me some medical insurance. Some medical said, insurance, yes. I, I'm sorry, I thought you said something. Oh, I did. Uh, you were fading out, so I was repeating what you said, some medical insurance. I wanted to make sure yeah. everybody heard you. I'm sorry. I'll do that from time to time. If you fade out, I'll repeat it so everybody understands what you just said. No problem. Go on. Oh. Okay, it's probably my cell phone. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just poured everything out to God. I, I just had enough. I, I was just a hair away from losing my mind. And I told God, I said, if you would save my home, give me my insurance, give me my income back. I said, I will shout to the world what you've done for me. Oh, beautiful. And so it was, uh, I, I don't remember the time limit, but I don't even think a month. It was and about a month, you said? Um, more contact with me and said they would work with me, but they didn't know what my payments would be. 
Also, yeah. they said they would work with you. So like all of a sudden when they didn't want to work with you before, now after you said that prayer, now they're working with you. Wow, look at God. <laughs> yes, ma'am, they sure did. But uh, mm. they didn't. They couldn't tell me what my payments were going to be for uh, for a bit because they were still working working on uh, uh, trying to get trying to help me out right and, and give me a payment. So after after I found out about that, uh, I I went again back on my knees and I said, Lord, I said, you know what my income, my situation is. I've lost my job. It was a good paying job. And I said, Lord, please, if it be your will, would you knock $200 off of the payment? Because I thought it would be around the same payment or more wow. that I was paying. I said, if you would knock $200 off that payment, I am pretty sure that I can make the payments. And I promise you, I won't get behind on my payments again if you will help me. And it wasn't but a couple of weeks after that, they got in contact with me. And Pat, I'm telling you, God is good. He is faithful. And he's full of grace. My payment was exactly $200 less than what I was paying. Oh, my goodness. Penny. Exactly, $200 to the penny less, you know, uh, and uh, I praise God for that, I think, and it wasn't, but maybe, I don't know, I, like I said, I don't remember the time frame, but I don't think it was maybe a month later after that, maybe not even that. Wow. It been a couple of, I just don't really remember, but got a uh, call from my social security attorney. Okay, she got a call from her social security attorney, and he told yes, her. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me, he says, um, Teresa, he says, I don't know what happened. He said, but a magistrate picked up your file, mm. and he looked at it, and he told my attorney, he says, this woman should have been approved. The first time she applied. Look at that. I'm approving. I'm approving it right now. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. And I didn't have to go to court. I didn't have to go to um, to a Social Security board doctor to uh, have them look at me to make sure I was eligible for it. His stamp of approval. He was a magistrate, so no one could have went back and appealed his decision. What he, it's not like a judge, I think. Okay, I'm let me really say sure. something, Teresa. Let me interrupt you just for a second, please. Excuse me, but I need to say this, you guys. When man tries to close a door on you, if God has opened that door, no man can close it. He will maneuver Amen. people in the position to make sure you get your need met all for you. He will make sure Amen. the person that would have denied you in that position that day gets a flat tire. So someone else has to walk up and take that place at the very moment your paperwork comes across their desk. God knows how to get your answers, need, how to get your needs met and how to set the Amen. right people in place to get it done. So don't look at the problem. Look at God. Okay, Teresa, continue. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So within, after my prayer, within a short amount of time, my house, I, my house was saved. I was not losing it. Ah! And the payment to where I could afford it. My social security was approved. Mm -hmm. I had my income back. I got, I was, I was able to have Medicare. I had my insurance back, and that, I got my back. And I forgot to mention that when after I had uh, said that prayer and asked for absolute forgiveness, absolute forgiveness, I couldn't have cried any harder. Mm. I said, "God, I, I'm getting rid of everything." Beautiful. So I got up off the floor, and I just 
started gathering up all my um, supplies at well, over 10 years, you can imagine. Right. You know, the supplies of herbs and candles and oils and stones. I All that went into the garbage. That's all right. All that went into the garbage. Boxes, boxes of books. All that went out of my house in that that very day. Excellent. That very day, as soon as I got up, all that stuff went out. Mm. I, I I knew my heart. I I mm. made a commitment to God, and I I've never really. Um, I'm fifty. I, I'm fifty nine now, so I think all this went down. I was probably, oh, I don't know. Late forties, maybe mm-hmm. something in that era. I don't remember. Right. But um, yeah. Um, and up to that point, I never. Um, I mean, I believed in God. I believed in Jesus. I, you know, it, it wasn't. I didn't grow up ignorant of the fact of what I was on. Who just? So oh. I just didn't put much. Okay, hold on, Teresa. You're fading out again. What Teresa's saying is she she had known about God. She had, you know, all of that. She wasn't ignorant to any of it. She had believed in all that, but she had never put her faith and her trust, her whole thing into the Lord. And um, and she had gone another way. So uh, what, what I want to interject in that while I'm running my mouth, adding Pat's two cents, is... When you give your heart to the Lord, when you have given, you know, committed everything to God, what you have to remember is when you look at the Old Testament in the wilderness wanderings and you look at how God commanded them to drive out the enemy, drive him out, burn everything, destroy everything, get rid of everything. Don't take one bit of their stuff. Well, this is what is the same principle of what Teresa was doing when she gave her heart to the Lord. And this is what we need to do with our lives. We must drive out the enemy and everything associated with it. And it it includes the accursed things. It includes Ouija boards. It includes incantations, levitations, all of those little games that we may have played as kids or teenagers or even young adults. We have to get rid of it. We can't consult with um, uh, tarot cards. We can't consult with psychic hotlines. You want to consult, you consult with God because those people are manipulated by a darker entity and you will get a uh, truth mixed with a lie. There will never be a hundred percent lie or accuracy. So when you are opening yourself to that, you're opening yourself to demonic forces. And you think a lot of you think that stuff isn't real, but I've seen them. I've had them attack me often, but I tell you what, I know that I know Jesus. I use the name of Jesus because that is the strongest weapon I use the word, I use praise, I praise God, and I have never been overcome by a demon or else I would have been dead a long time ago. So I'm here to tell you, do what Teresa did. You give your heart to the Lord and you drive out, you throw away those sexual songs that make you want to commit adultery, that make you want to get caught up or caught back up in pornography, that make you want to watch pornographic movies and and all of that. You get rid of everything that is associated with your sinful past, even the programs you watched. If they're cussing and, 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 and there's treachery and you stop putting that in your spirit and you allow God to clean you because he will not cohabit with sin. As many of you may think he will, he will not. Okay, go on, Teresa. Thank you. Uh, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Because um, that, that witchcraft had no no longer had any part in my life. Right. You know, I, I, I. Well, before all this, all this happened, you know, over the years, I would do many spells. I would do love spells. Um, uh, so let me let me just clarify this. I was was it into what they call black magic. Mm-hmm. Um, what I hear about Satanists or nothing. No, I was uh, what they considered a Wiccan. But so is they, that another you know, is that another term or a softer term for a witch? 
That's right. Witchcraft is witchcraft. Right. Um, you might think you're doing what they call white magic, but it's all dark. Right. It's all dark. Right. Tell the truth. Um, That's right. It's all dark. Um, there, there's nothing light about it. And, um, well, I guess, the, you know, Satan is so subtle of pain. And um, back when I was a child, well, not a child, um, I, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 years old, I played a Ouija board. Mm -hmm. um, started as a Christmas gift, not knowing what it was. Okay, you know? hold on, Teresa. When she was a child, she played with a Ouija board, not knowing what it was. It was a Christmas gift. There's the door exactly. right there. Wow. And at the time, as a child, my, my father was an alcoholic. Okay. And we went through um, physical abuse and mental, there's no sexual abuse, just an alcoholic. And so he would take off for, I don't know, sometimes he would be gone for two weeks at a time, mm. um, not really knowing where he was at, other than knowing that he was bar hopping. Oh, my goodness, so, I got you. Yeah, we would, you know, I mean, it was it was a rough child, childhood, really. Can you and hold so on for a minute, like, Teresa? I'm, try, I'm not trying to interrupt you so many times, but I'm looking at the time. And I know people's attention span is short. So give me one second, and we're going to make another video uh, as a segue from this. So everybody, stay tuned. Go have your little coffee break, whatever you need to do. And there's a second video to this, because you've got to hear this. And we're going to start from Teresa getting a Ouija board for a Christmas present. You need to hear this. God bless you. And remember, touch not the un clean thing. You hear me? Amen. <laughs>